high rollers. It flies here. Тут летая. Um, the band, I think, from Lviv. Palindrom. Uh, pretty famous here in Ukraine. For, like, most of the fans are Generation Z, I think. But also representatives of my generation. Um, I enjoy them. I enjoy them usually pretty mm, heavy in terms of the meaning like uh, this one is light yet like anyway awesome th song I hope you enjoyed it enjoyed it this was my choice um, this time so please enjoy what I enjoy I'm happy to see you all there in the chat um, hello everyone thank you for joining thank you also for joining free as off stream today it was well it was a good one a very good one it was on Maidan of Independence the very center of Kiev the heart of it and we have seen and met a lot of cool people there today also I was happy to meet Lena um, girl from Crimea um my friend already she's been here on the stream and yeah mm, guys what day is that i think it's 886 right of this brutal uh, full-scale war which lasts for 10 years now well 10 before uh, so it's 10 and a half now that's crazy uh great picture rick what picture what are you talking about um anyway guys we're gonna have greg terry here today so i i don't know guys today i feel like mm, not bad like mentally <laughs> not bad and for the last week i've been working a lot on the dubbing and i really wanted to make a sneak peek uh like three days ago or something but i didn't do it and yeah just because i have a lot of different stuff to post and to keep working on the dub yes hello greg welcome I'm happy to what's see up you. brother nice to see you yeah nice to see you too um so live long live long prosper and donate live long prosper and donate exactly that's what i was calling for people to do because we have uh, not enough tickets to um you know get to at least 50 percent to date uh, of our fundraiser i mean uh we're raising funds for the third assault brigade and greg actually can confirm how third assault brigade despite there being a media brigade how not enough help they get Right? No, absolutely not. But we're you're helping, we're helping, and that means everybody that is watching and a part of these communities and our big family that supports Ukraine is helping. So yeah, That's we amazing. do our part. Yeah. Thank you for that, guys. So, uh, Greg, I know that you you've been really busy lately. I've watched your stream from a few days ago. Not the last one that you streamed uh, from the street. Uh, I need to watch that one. Uh, the recording on that one it was only like eighteen minutes long. Uh, uh, yeah, like ten or eleven. Just checking in. I was at the eye doctor and uh, went past. So that's Butler, Pennsylvania, and I also um, drove past a Ukrainian Catholic church that was established in nineteen oh six. And um, they had their flags out waving, and they do a lot to support humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. And um, so I stopped, showed everybody that, showed them what Butler, Pennsylvania looks like. Of course, that's the place where former former President Trump was um, shot at. So, mm -hmm. so that's the place. Interesting. That's the place. I took my son by there to see it, and uh, it was it was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, we'll just. We'll see what unfolds from it all, but it's, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I have no idea how that happened. Yeah, no. I have no idea how that happened. Um, I, I saw the roof, I saw the location, I saw the facility, uh, everything. It's right there. It's just a little town, man. It's a little, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Butler, Pennsylvania is a beautiful town. Mm-hmm. 
I really like it a lot. It's about an hour from my home, and I go to a lot of doctors down there. But um, it's basically a part of the Rust Belt of America, a lot of manufacturing and steel manufacturing. And mm -hmm. there is a huge uh, veterans hospital there, VA hospital. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a nice town. It really is a nice town. So I showed people what it looked like. So kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. So uh, you go to that town to your eye doctor? Yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I have keratoconus. Mm -hmm. um, and guys on my stream know basically my corneas are destroyed. Um, so I have to have all these special treatments and... Eventually, I'm going to have to have a different surgery called cross-linking. I have to wear these huge scleral lenses. I think I showed them to you. We're on the front. Yeah, I showed them to you, I think. Yeah. What's cool. in my... Oh, yeah. And I have the fluid that goes inside of them. It reshapes the cornea. So, it's a it's a challenge, but really good doctors there, and they're, they're, they help me a lot. So... Mm -hmm. And, you yes. know, I, I watched many times how you've been uh, putting those uh, lenses... In. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh, wow. I, I would do it right in the gas station. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was so cool. We uh, stopped at the gas station somewhere in Harky Boblast and uh, Greg was just putting all his stuff, which is many, to put those things in. Uh, he put that stuff on the table and the soldiers who were eating hot dogs, there were like 10 of them sitting in uh, a few on a few tables there, at a few tables, and they were eating hot dogs looking at him and he was, <laughs> and he was like, Что интересно? <laughs> Is it interesting for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he started uh, making a performance uh, of this, and it was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we had we had fun. Yeah. Um, but you know, Rick, that just <clears throat> you, you make a good point there that many people will miss. So these guys that are fighting on the front lines, they have enough death and destruction and hell and right now horrible weather just in general summer's very difficult and winter's difficult spring and fall are easier so let's be honest a hot summer and a cold winter very difficult for guys on yeah. the front um but they look for anything that brings normalcy to their life eating a hot dog joking grabbing a cup of coffee t not doing anything to pull their mind away from that war war line so mm -hmm. we always try to do that yeah, and uh, I wanted also to talk about our trip, and... Um, Let's do it, man. Yeah, uh, like, I started posting videos, like, one by one, uh, and then, at some point, my channel got shadow banned severely, so I slowed down it a bit, you know, to, po to start posting them at the moment where more people could see them. But maybe it's not a good tactics, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I posted mm, those from the first days, I'm going chronologically, and I actually came to the point where we um, scatter the Pete's ashes. And I thought maybe it should go on your channel first, and because... Mm, yeah, what do you think about this? Um, I have different video, and you know we're all sharing it, as you can see. Here, yeah. Here's my computer, Rick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost there. So if we just be patient, uh, people are going to... I've got so much more video for you and, and Andrew and, and Jania. It's unbelievable what people are going to see. So uh, it, it'll be happening this week, and... Um, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe that's something we just hop on here together and share. That'd be cool doing it live and uh, yeah, we and can share and be able to give commentary about it because you have video of it and I have video of it that's different. Yeah, uh, if you want to, ah, so you mean some other day, uh, but because we can do it right here and right now because I have a video. Well, I I have video that needs to be with it that mm -hmm. you don't have yeah. that will make the story even better. Sure, let's do it that and way and more then. applicable. Yeah, yeah, let's then gather. Uh, someday this week, next week, I mean, and do it together. Gonna be cool. Um, yeah. Papa Dutch. Mercy, thank you for that. I am feeling better. 
Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I've <coughs> I still coughed, <laughs> but uh, that's the first time today. <laughs> well, I'm I'm eighty or ninety percent, so we're getting there. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Papa Dash, thank you for that five bucks super chat. Put bluntly, we have driven away or killed the natural predators. Mm, yeah, that 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 is. Well, right um, now we're trying to drive away the natural predators in eastern Ukraine and southern Ukraine. Yeah, unfortunately, there are those predators. Predators, they are more savage than the real ones. You know, like I the guarantee you, man-made predators are uh, worse. Um, so, Greg, an awesome video that I posted yesterday: you and uh, Eddie playing the piano. I know you shared it. Thank you so much for also sharing it on your channel, uh, because. But anyway, people. Uh, received it with huge gratitude. Uh, they yeah, enjoyed it. Uh, good. I really liked you singing, but I I want to say that yeah, the comments were amazing. I didn't read all of them, guys, but uh, those that I read were amazing. So here's the video, and yeah, well, like well deserved feedback. Fifty one comments. That. That's uh, something, that's a lot for my usual, you know, like, it's more than my average number of comments there. Thank you, guys. And also, don't forget to like the stream, please. It helps with engagement. Uh, can you say uh, now, please, something uh, about Eddie, about, what do you think? Yeah, hello, hello to Alex there. I'm reading the chat. Uh, Galena is here. Yeah, uh, Helena. How are you and, doing? um... And yeah, so Eddie, Eddie. Uh, first of all, that is, um, uh, we were in the city of Zaporizhia, and Jenny and I, and now Rick, uh, and Andrew was with us, We Jenny and I do a lot of basing out of Zaporizhia, and uh, we have a certain place we stay, I'm very good friends with the owner, um, in fact, I, I think it was Andrew I told, or you, Rick, I can't remember, I said, okay guys, here, here's what's going to happen. We're going to walk into this place, I'm going to turn right, and the owner will be sitting there, and he will welcome us, and yeah. I will introduce him to you guys. And guys, this is a massive place. And it happened just like that, because we know it so well. And it's really a good place for us to base, because from there, we can support the Zaporizhia line down towards Robotny. We can also support the Karakova line, the uh, Nova, uh, Nova Vasilka, that whole area, that line. There are two different roads that go in to support those lines. And then also, you know, across the river from Inergodar that would be pushing the, down towards Nikopol. So from there, Zaporizhia, we support all of those areas. And um, this video was actually shot in Zaporizhia. And I'm sitting there, and the owner always has me play something on the piano. So I flipped it on, I played something, and then all of a sudden, this guy walks over to me, Eddie, Edward, Edward. Edward, and yeah. He, yeah, young guy and a freak of nature. He's a composer, and um, basically, long story short, he's doing two things now hotel administration and management, and also he is a professional composer, musician. Unfortunately, in Ukraine right now, there's not, you know, yeah. not a lot of places you can do that particular job, so he's having to supplement, but he is a composer and pianist, and so he was, he was actually, that, I, I, on the video, Rick, yes, that was his composition. Uh, um, the no, one, that no, no, one. not the one that he played in my not video. Not the one you played? Yeah. I, oh, not the one. I he, the not first one he played his, was his composition. Okay, you called the yeah. second one. But he had played his own composition, and um, then we just started having fun. And what musicians do is we just take turns and enjoy each other. And um, really, really nice guy, and look forward to seeing him next time I'm in Zaporizhia. Yeah, no, same, same. We exchanged contacts, and we, um, we said that we will contact him when... The next time, either Greg himself or we together are there. Uh, but just, yeah. uh, just Jimmy, Rick, ask Greg if he would think about doing a music stream with some others. Oh yeah, just I was about to ask that one. Yeah. So. So I asked it. Uh, let's consider so, I asked it. <laughs> so, are you ready for this? Yeah, sure. I'm putting keys into this studio and gonna have some fun with some music as well. 
that's really good. Uh, so it's all going to be set up. I would actually love so the uh, answer you is to yes. play. I would love you to play uh, some music here on my stream too. That'll be great. We'll have fun. I'll even I'll even drop the Ukrainian hymn. Awesome. Uh, the only problem that we may face that we need to think of before you do that is the limiter, um, the sound limiter. You know, because well, I run through, I run everything through compression. You'll be, I'll, yes, I'll send you good amazing. audio. Awesome. I'll uh, send you good audio. Buddy. Because we had yes. that problem with Aziza when she was playing on her side, uh, her phone was cutting the. I wonder if it's no, her phone I'm, on my uh, side. You know, it could be on my side. So it could be, but test. I'm going to be send, I'll be sending you a processed audio because I'm you know not only going to have the the YouTube studio here for all the video uh, lives and the video production, but I I'm a musician, so I'm there. A part of this studio is my music studio. And I'm going to have that now all cameraed up uh, so can go over and you never know. You get on the live stream and you feel a move, man. You got to bust a move and you got to grab the keys and start dropping something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You catching my sling there? You catching it? I'm catching it. Let's I, go, I, brother. I'm catching it. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we, we will actually, uh, I think... We can do the small test. Just connect. Oh yeah, it'll be fun. Um, mm -hmm. So, how's the mother-in-law? So we will stick with the plan of me checking on her every ten to fifteen minutes. So I went upstairs, and um, <laughs> she's eighty-one, early stages of dementia, and very immobile. And um, she has her chair she sits in. So, you know, we're moving, and I've got crap everywhere. So I have my son's computer chair just sitting there, you know, like a gamer chair. And mm -hmm. it's a little low ride. That's what he likes to play games in. And I have it sitting there because we're just in moving stuff. I have my son and my son-in-law going to uh, Home Depot now, picking up some more supplies. And when I finish with you, we'll be doing stuff. Um I go up there, she decided to get out of her chair, which she can get into and out of. She got into my son's gaming chair. I go up there and she goes, oh, Greg. I said, Mima, what are you doing? Well, I wanted to try this chair, but I can't get out of it now. Can you lift me out of it? <laughs> so... I got her out of that chair and flipped it upside down so she won't sit back in it. That's pretty cool. I would actually <laughs> love to see you know, the stream with Grandma sitting in that chair because uh, right. usually... Do you want to have some fun? <laughs> you want to go there? Are you at a place to have some fun? <laughs> Why not? Let's go. <laughs> this is Rick the Ukrainian. We do cultural. We do real stuff. All right, guys. I'm going to drop Mima on you. Uh, but she's out of that chair. I hope you, uh, you won't I got her put out of the her chair. back. Of course. I hope you well, won't, no, put, won't her put her back. back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, this is what she got into. Ah, this one. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hello. Oh, hello. You got the I whole world you. here watching. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, a oh, lot of people on. watching. Come on over because uh, we got a mess here. <laughs> <laughs> what well, Holly's that little town? He, they don't know Holly. Oh, they don't. This they guy's don't. in Ukraine. Yeah, I know. Well, I told who your friends are. It, her friends. Well, it is. He just hasn't met her officially well, yet. You haven't met his wife. Hmm. She's a sweetheart. Is that I, your daughter? Yes. Uh -huh. Actually, I think... No, I haven't I met so. uh, met her. Yeah, but... Hmm. Yeah, but I, yeah. I, I need to. You're right. <laughs> Rick and I work in Ukraine. We oh, do. okay. What do, you, what do you think about that? I think it's good. <laughs> you think yes. we're crazy some of the stuff we do? Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, you have met Mimo. Hello, and That's it was little... nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. Thank you. You're welcome, man. She's so sweet. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Roller. She is. <laughs> Difficult Greg, she says is. Ramon. She is sweet. And, uh... <laughs> she has yeah, so just let's keep smile. it on her. She's sitting there now. I agree. I agree with that. That her smile is beautiful. I agree with that, guys. <laughs> yeah, good, good lady. 
Okay, so, Greg, what yeah. was the most mem memorable thing of our trip when we joined, when you took me there? Yeah. Okay, let me, let, you mean as far as a memory for the three, for the four of us, like something joint? Not necessarily. Uh, it could be your memory, but uh, yeah, also would be cool to hear okay. all four of us. Um, <clears throat> well, for for this one, it's pretty easy. Um, we we had uh, you know, you, you experienced Kharkiv blacked out you experienced incoming fire that landed moments after we left a certain area in the east mm -hmm. you experienced we experienced um seeing orikiv under fire we experienced meeting all of these frontline heroes and really getting to know them. We experienced um, having a beautiful lunch with high ranking military official for the Mikolaev Oblast. We experienced Herson and you got you you were able to see the reality of that ghost town. But for me the most memorable moment would be when we were standing over the river in Svetogorsk, mm -hmm. looking across, thinking about Pete, and then those church bells at the monastery started to play. Oh, yeah. It was unbelievably powerful. And the timing was perfect. Uh, because <laughs> it was like... <laughs> It was weird. People will see it. It's coming. People will see it. Okay, so, so no just spoilers. a commercial. No, no, no spoilers. spoilers but. Yeah, but I think I maybe spoiled it before, but then I didn't show the video. So, yeah, they will see it. Anyway, KDS. Apoc Apocalypse Sue. We have not yet heard from our guys. So, S I O U X uh, is read like Sue. Yes. Okay. I, now, I don't know. I, I'm reading it as an American apoc uh, apocalypse. Sioux. Sioux is an Indian tribe, um, a Native American tribe here in the United States, the mm. Sioux Indians. I am uh, about one eighth Cherokee. Cherokee. My, yes. My great, 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 yeah, grandfather was like, I mean, he looks like he's f f not full Cherokee, but very close. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Uh, so, Sue. 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 Uh huh. Sorry, but yeah, it's. Uh, hey, you would. You I would think it is phonetically for you. It would be S U E. Sue. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got you it. You got it. Um. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you for the answer of well, my question and. I don't know, I actually didn't share much, um, like, much of the s details of the trip, uh, like, mostly in general. This is why I wanted maybe this stream to be of us talking about stuff that was happening All you there. want, man. All of um, it. You know, I think, it feels like well, I need help, because for some reason, uh, for me... You know, I discovered one thing about myself, not on the trip, but the trip uh, has uh, just proved it, that I get very mm, moody and depressed when I don't have enough sleep. And I cannot perceive the reality uh, without, uh, like, not in, in uh, gray colors, you know? It, it feels like... Um, and you... I think you've seen it uh, after we scattered the ashes of peace, uh, Pete, sorry, uh, we uh, spent uh, morning on the road and in that pizza place uh, and I was like, no, I want to sleep mm -hmm. or, but I can't sleep and I, I was like, yeah, it was, it's, it was a moody Rick, Rick so uh, Greg also had the experience uh, of that. 
<laughs> well, I, he, here's what I'll tell you. Um, and just in regard to that in general. It's one thing for people to see our videos. It's one people, one thing for people to watch and try to understand. But I often say this. What we all do to help on the front cannot be explained. It can only be experienced. And we do our best to explain it. We do our best to share. We do our best to be a voice, uh, to be your eyes, your ears, your hands. I'm talking to the community now. But until you've actually done it, you do not realize how hard it is. Um, it's brutally difficult. And I want to applaud you, Rick, for it being your first one. Um, you did amazing, dude. And But I think you realized, and even Merck, to an extent, realized, I know he's an American veteran, realized it's really not easy, the schedule we keep. It's brutal. Mm -hmm. And that was a short run. Typically, we're on the road 10 to 14 days doing that. And then it's a two or three day rest and reload, and we're gone again. It, it's... Yeah, if... If they were not Dr. Energy and uh, Mr. Energy, who's driving, uh, then then they won't handle it, guys. I don't know. It's is it God that is filling them with so much energy, or what is it? <laughs> but <laughs> well, you're uh, on the middle. Remember, you're in the middle. Yeah, I remember. Uh, but with Johnny Pierce, Johnny Pierce is on the left. He, he and I don't mean politically. I mean just as far as <laughs> like I got. Right, middle, and, and, and left, or, you know, this side, that side, the middle. But I'll tell you what, when we got about halfway through the trip, Johnny Pierce himself was singing Oh Happy Day and talking about Amazing Grace. I know, uh, but because I was not. <laughs> no, you were not. But you experienced, um, you experienced how hard it is. And I just want to applaud you and Merck. You guys did a really good job because it's just... It's Thanks, not easy. Man. But as you said, yeah, it man. was a shorter run than usually. So, um, yeah, we will see what's going to be on the next one because there's also going to be a delivery of uh, snatches, hopefully. Yes. Uh, in fact, I can tell you guys this. Our So we bought, and one of the reasons we're delaying, it's not delaying, it's just being done right. We are actually equipping them, and they're only manufactured and delivered this week is our not only a drone jammer but anti-drone unit we're having a combo unit made and it's put it's not a two channel it's not a three channel it's a four channel these are the best bar none up to the minute actually four and channel it, is the the most actual request it's the right maximum now. yes but what we're also getting is they're putting in the most recent four channels right now that are the most active um so those are just coming we, we had to wait in line for months Jania ordered those immediately when we decided months ago and what they do is just because we ordered it and we get them in the queue um, once your time comes for manufacturing, at that point, then they're communicating with the front lines going, okay, what are the most troubling frequencies right now? And Xenia knows all this technical stuff, but that's basically what they're doing. So what we would have ordered two months ago is not the frequency that they're manufacturing now. They're looking ahead. So it's really, really good. And we were, we were in queue for that for eight weeks just to get our drone not jammer only, but um, drone jammer and ah, uh, the whatever it's the combo pullers, unit. Pullers, uh, the thing that you pull other car with. Uh, Jenya told me. Uh, yes, we, how do you call we this had thing? Um, winch. We ha winch? we we are having yeah. And here's what's really, really weird. You would think, and especially for folks here. Um, I gotta send a text message. You would think that you just run into Epicenter and buy, buy a winch, right? Mm -hmm. Epicenter guys would be like a Lowe's or a Home Depot or a huge um, store, auto, everything. And uh, they do not have. <laughs> okay. 
the medevacs, the Kasevacs, as Pete would call them, that we are delivering are not your everyday Kasevac. They are everything from bulletproof glass to the latest run flat tires, the spare units, the anti the jammers and the anti drone units, fully armored top to bottom, underneath, Kevlar reinforced on the medical compartment, plus all of the gear that needs to be in it. This is not just, you know, people go, well, a NAFO truck gets there in 30 days. I'm not delivering a NAFO truck. No. I'm delivering a military-grade, incredible unit, customized and modified to the hilt. Guys, okay? do you know what? Even... even besides that but let uh, me finish the winch yeah all right before you do that we can't we could not find a winch in ukraine that could handle the payload of the weight needed for the weight of the vehicle jenya had to order those suckers from europe yeah it's just it's for a i know everybody wants to say oh it's just a vehicle oh well, it's not a vehicle this is the cadillac <laughs> so well uh first of all uh the, these are not just vehicles you know guys m armored vehicles is not that you can easily cross through the border not easily uh ship somewhere it's it's not that simple you know f bomb Thank you. simple it's not <laughs> Uh, it's not and I uh, listened to the podcast of the Ukrainian of the biggest Ukrainian fund uh, save life uh, in UA or come back alive and yeah, yeah come back alive and they are telling so many stories how they order stuff from uh, Europe Britain and it's dragging for months and they are constantly delaying they're constantly uh, not fulfilling their their promises it's hard to work with the military companies guys it's not easy they are not it's not like a grocery store it's not that simple it, there are hundreds of regulations hundreds of complications to just get that thing into your country and if you want to equip it with the, some electronic warfare or those uh, wenches you will have to find them you will have to spend time on that and you know what we came to one of the units during this trip and they said guys we need four um four frequencies electronic warfare not less than that and Jenny is okay we're developing some stuff right now and f uh, searching for it but okay that, that's the new need and you see you you also constantly need to adapt you constantly need to f uh, get something new you were planning to get one electronic warfare in just a week or two you should get another so I can understand why it is uh, going, and it's still, yeah, there was it's still a, not long, man. Uh, to be it's honest, not. I, I've heard this, the stories that it's been dragging for half a year and not working out at all from from that fund. You know, it's not easy, guys. It's all very it's complicated, not easy. and 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 <laughs> it's okay. You know, we just need to educate people because they really, you know, they don't understand. You know, you'll look at a at a convoy with twenty NAFO vehicles. You go, oh well, they're doing it. They're not delivering the vehicles we're bringing yeah. in. These so there was a vehicles, and so. they're great vehicles. Don't get me. It's awesome what NAFO's doing. They need them, but these are military grade vehicles we're delivering, and we are bringing them from a private company through a European export company to bypass the red tape. And people go, well, what red tape are you talking about? We are important importing military grade vehicle onto our balance sheet as a nonprofit. Everything is legal legal. But there's one thing to push through, you know, you know, a 2008, a 2018, you know, whatever, uh, Nissan Navara and it's painted camouflage and, and a drone jammer on it, a simple one. No problem. But when this sucker rolls across, guys, when we convoy these out to the east, I think we're going to have to get some guys to give us a military escort. We're taking some life, serious life-saving equipment. Um, it, it's just, it's, it, I'm, I'm glad you talked about uh, that because I do a lot of following uh, Come Back Alive. Um, mm -hmm. I, I respect Come Back Alive so much 
because uh, Zhenya actually knows him. The uh, struggle. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he's very familiar. Very, very good with Come Back Alive. Knows him. Mm, that's cool. I would. Uh... Oh yeah, that's why I, I just I just want to educate people. We, you know, we'll never get frustrated. If anybody's frustrated, it's me. This is a three hundred thousand dollar project. <laughs> I'm frustrated, but I I have to temper my frustration because we are doing everything to the maximum, and it's just this, folks, gives you insight into why sometimes. You wonder, why, why is Ukraine without this or without that or without this? I thought there was $50 billion coming out of D.C. to supply this and that. Why is it not there? It's not that simple. It's extremely complicated. Yeah, especially. Uh, good comment from Pete uh, Heikinen. From Finland, I think. Uh, he Let's says, Rick, are the cars in question considered military equipment at the border because they often require different customs papers? I think Rick they are. confirmed that they yeah, are. Yeah, I did. That's and what I was confirming. These are military grade. These yeah. are military vehicles. Yeah, also public. We, yeah. We, are, we are legally able to receive them on our balance sheet as our NGO. But these these are military grade Kasevaks. Um, these things are bad to the bone, man. Yeah, by the way, what year are they? Uh, I year do not of know. Production. Do I know? do not know. Jane okay. knows. Okay. I'll ask him. I'm curious. Papa Dutch, thank you for five bucks. Super chat. It sounds like a frequency agile system with a scanner might be the next advance. Yeah, that that is the, I think, the next level for um for electronic warfare but the problem is well with electronic warfare it will be totally ineffective because we now have this machine vision and drones are uh, just uh, locking the target at some point and they don't need connection at the last uh, few meters or few um, dozens of meters they will just reach the target so electronic warfare in the future might be totally suppressed by this uh, machine vision stuff um, that's the problem let, let me make two comments here to say yes sir we are aware of them we just want to get these four delivered and you know it's not that we need to validate anything but it, i feel for me, I want to validate it and have that completed. And then, you know, other little projects work on it, the Gauls project, um, all of these little th- things we're working on. But definitely, we're just so intent um, to get these in. I'm really hoping this week we, we have a, big, a much clearer picture. Um, By the way. Keith Kane, you're welcome. And real Vladimir Putin, Ukraine needs to streamline imports. So this is something I've been preaching and screaming from the mountaintops um ukraine not only needs to streamline imports ukraine also um i i am doing my best to have coffee with president Zelensky, and i only want to tell him one thing and i and i know people you may be laughing now but i'm serious i'm gonna have coffee with him i'm finding the right person to get me to him because i want to tell him one thing it ain't fat. It's going to happen. One thing. One thing. Mr. President, if you would allocate some money to create a division of the government for facilitating volunteers from foreign lands and imports to put them to work for the Ukrainian war machine, you would have thousands of people here within months volunteering welding, doing mechanical work, doing stuff that needs to be done on the back end that soldiers do not need to do so that you can get them to the front lines and to their positions and not have them doing these tasks. There would be an army of volunteers. You need interpreters, private housing, never broadcasted, of course, it would become a target, and facilities to do that. And sir, it would do an amazing service to the Ukrainian military. 
And that's all I want to tell him. Thank you. Enjoy your coffee. Have a great day. I really it hope, would revolutionize your career. Yeah, I really hope you will get to him and to really tell this to him. Uh, that's so, all. Dude, it's so simple, bro. Yeah, I know. So simple. <laughs> Uh, simple you solutions know? are not uh, are not welcome by um, nah, sorry bureaucrats. I understand bureaucrats. You. They they don't like it because you. it's really hard to um, get some money for yourself from that. <laughs> then, then then lose the war. Then yeah, then lose the war. Yeah, but but uh, then lose the war. They don't care. Those those bureaucrats. So, they don't care. You know. Uh, do you realize? Okay, so I'm coming back to Ukraine and I'm getting a, a resident permit. Awesome. Okay, so you'll stay. Yeah. Well, no, no I just come and go as I please. Yeah. It, I come and go as I please. No more visas, nothing. You know, because I'm there so much. And then, so Ukraine's it's all set. All I got to do is be there and get my documents. I've already done all the fingerprinting, all the biometrics, everything. It's done. And guys, the bids. Uh, you can still place a bid for the patch. Who farted? placed 600 bucks but maybe someone is willing to do more by the way who farted i wanted to specify that you will need to send 600 on my paypal if you're okay with that uh, this is the way <laughs> what greg what happened rick uh i just i it's just it's so funny you know some <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get <laughs> coughing again, but hoof hearted. Yeah. Hoof hearted. When I hear you say it, I'm hearing you say, who farted? <laughs> maybe that's an idea behind this. And I'm just, maybe it is. Maybe it's a play on words, but man, I'm not. I've heard you say it like eight times, and I'm going, okay, I got, I'm about to fall out laughing here. <laughs> who farted? Who farted? <laughs> yeah. Hoof hearted. <laughs> Hoof hearted. So you think my pronunciation is not good in this case? <laughs> on those two particular ones, your pronunciation is very good. It's just my English American ears are hearing something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least it's not. It's a funny name. Who farted? Says who farted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Greg. Uh, someone was saying difficult Greg in chat. Is it one of those cases? Like when they call kids difficult, when they are just being um, silly <laughs> or, or stuff. I'm not sure if you do that, guys. Mm, probably we do that in Ukraine. Okay. Okay, guys. This is the moment for this flag. Ruffling this awesome flag right now. Kimira. It's on 15 seconds, man. You can put it up. There you go. You've got your <laughs> intro music with the Thank wheel of you. fortune thank you very much guys and we're mm -hmm. spinning the wheel and and come on come on who's that's gonna be who's that gonna be who's that who's that 335 that's awesome let's go and watch who that was 335 number 335 the wheel and sorry <laughs> yeah, that was funny to hear myself. Uh, 335, Sir and Mrs. Garrick. Are you still there in the chat, my friends? Apatox. Nice. Apatox, thank you for 10 gifted memberships. Mr. and Mrs. Garrick, are you still there in the chat? You are the winners of this flag. 335. Great job, guys. Everybody. Nice. There are high marshes there. Dude, that is sweet. And our Ukrainian drones that are bombing Russia every day. Here they are. Um, and 
also here, I think, by Raktars, probably. So, guys, this epic Vishwanka has a story. Uh, this is our next raffle item. You're going to get a chance to get this one. It's a size XL, so going to fit a lot of people. Um, and uh, my auntie... Who was... Yeah. Who was... Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't interrupt you. <laughs> Mima talking to no 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 tell us Mima was Mima was talking to the hamburger meat she's cooking. Oh got it. <laughs> like is it kitchen on the second floor? Yeah. Uh huh, got it. Uh yeah. Well, guys. it's on the main floor. I I'm in the I'm in the basement. Got it. Ah, you're in the basement. Mm -hmm. That this yes. is why the ceiling is so tall that uh, you with your two meters uh height yeah can reach <laughs> <laughs> with your head <laughs> six foot four baby yeah so guys uh, there are ukrainian soldiers on the sleeves too now uh, this vishwanka was sent to me uh, by my auntie she contacted me uh, contacted me and said you know what i won this one on the auction for the ukrainian army and yeah and i want you to make more money with it and to send it to one of the uh, to one of the supporters of Ukraine. Um, she doesn't know your name, guys. Rollers, because I think she may be watching the streams, but I'm not sure. Maybe she knows. Maybe not. But uh, to one of the rollers, this is my addition. But guys, the thing is, uh, she doesn't win it on the. She didn't win it on in ukraine she won it in georgia yeah so this vishwanka traveled a lot it was produced in ukraine the brand is is this uh Svoye, which from ukrainian can be translated like uh, our ours our own uh vishwanki you see the Svoye on instagram you can go there so guys this one traveled a lot and i'm really excited that we're gonna be raffling a vishivanka and such a badass one with a high marsis on it yeah that's nice man uh pretty cool and, and I, I and i will tell you something else that's interesting about that particular shirt mm -hmm. when you go to the ukrainian embassy in washington dc they were gifted Zelensky's very famous green one. Um, and that particular shirt, his real one, is on the wall of the Ukrainian embassy there in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. It is, and I'm looking through a camera right now, it's the same exact color. So that's really good color. It's beautiful. Yeah, and very good embroidery. And guys, there are even bottled geese here. Look at this. Ah, nice. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. Good All right, guys. Thank you. Be blessed. Uh, always a pleasure to have you here, man. All right, man. Love to the rollers. Love have you. a good evening. Yeah, live long. Bye prosper. bye. Live long, prosper, and donate. And there donate. you go. <laughs> bye. Right, bye. Uh, thank you, rollers. Um, always a great time with Greg. Doctor Energy is feeling. Oh well, I was pretty energetic already today. So, guys. This is this is the one we're raffling. I'm I'm really excited for this new item, new kind of item, you know. Um, Rick Rollers, Smerch for um, in Ukrainian. And the progress bar should update now. Twenty two thousand plus twenty two thousand nine hundred ninety three hrymnas. I'm sending it now. And it just updated. We're on 60%. Fuck yeah, my friends. Sorry for swearing if some of you doesn't like it, but I just cannot say differently. It's a very good result. Thank you. Guys, so I'm transparent. I'm transparent with almost everything with you. And it has some side effects it has some like a 
consequences also. And I've finally started facing some of them. And when uh, one of the rollers, one of the members of our community, um, confronted me, and I'm actually grateful that it wasn't just like behind my back uh, that they confronted me, and they told me it was one person. They told me, Rick, why the hell, or maybe without the hell, but they say, why the hell did you increase the goal there on that top progress bar once again? And I was, and I asked, and what's the problem with that? And that person started shaming me and saying, you know what, when it was 1,200, um, it was okay, but then you increased it, and it was kind of yet okay, but then you increased it once again, and now you increase it again, and it's like, and you know, first I really got ashamed, first I was like, oh really, am I becoming a grifter, I need to be... I need to really stop and stuff. But then, very, very wise person, I think, or maybe just the one that is thinking straight, um, convinced me that this was the goal of that person to put the shame on me and, you know, like to feel like I, like I, oh, Greg, wow, wait just a second, Greg, I need to switch the scene, Greg, hey. now we can see you and hear you, you hear me, yeah, I told you I'd be back until you good night, awesome, and I was actually um, getting, just getting into some very, um, I don't know how to say it, um, dirty topic or something yeah so you you came in a good moment <laughs> well be careful because my son is here <laughs> yeah but dirty. that's the stud back there and this one's my son-in-law hey, hey guys uh what's so just names? think about this if what, i'm what six foot names? so what's your name huh my name yeah josh so josh, if i'm six foot four nice. he's about eight feet tall eight feet tall i don't know right and here's here's my son feet. the football player you know Guys, I'm a Ukrainian. I don't know anything about feet, so please tell me uh, your, yeah. your height in <laughs> meters, okay? <laughs> Five meters tall. Uh, Josh is, uh, in reality, about two me two point one meters. Wow, that, that's tall. He's yeah. big boy. Yeah. Two point two, <laughs> two point one, something like that. There's my son. Yeah. So uh, we are adding now the. By the way, nice to meet you guys. Uh, I'm Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we're, we're putting in the second monitor tonight. So we've been working on the studio ever since I signed off. So awesome. just um, wanted to tell everybody good night. And I promise you I'll be back and say good night. And you can return to your dirty topic. Awesome. Uh, I mean, it's dirty because uh, people are throwing shit at you when you work hard. You know, they start doing that. You know that feel, bro. So uh, let's not talk more about it uh, with you. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> have a good rest of your day. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going to give you a lesson. Uh -huh. we, all, we all learn this the hard way. Uh -huh. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. I even know one, one punk song uh, that says that. So we're okay. going to do that. Because I'm telling you right now. The cream will rise to the top. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know. That means be patient and the trash that comes will fall away. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> and you know what? You and I'll still be here. Yeah, we will. No, we All right, will. buddy. Y'all have a good night. Yeah. Live long and prosper, Later. everyone. Bye, guys. Live long and prosper. Bye. Okay, uh, so I can keep going. Um, so, yeah. Um
that wise person is Dr. Duso. And Dr. Duso explained to me that I am not doing anything wrong and uh, that I actually... Um, this is, you know, this is my work now. This is my profession. And as any as in any profession, you can get... Uh, first of all, you can get money for your work. And, you know, guys, it's like... I don't know. I'm transparent with it, with this. And if you don't like how much I earn, then you should not support me. Definitely. Because it's... Is it like about how much I earn? Really? Mm, because? Difficult, not dirty. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cass. So it's like, you know, then I thought, so it matters how I how much I earn it matters not not the fact that I earn from this job but the fact how much I earn mm, so we agreed with you rollers that you're gonna be paying me salary right um, so you're just each of you paying your contribution whatever you want uh, whatever you know size of the monthly donation you want to put there i'm not forcing you to increase the tier of memberships guys i told you right away that ideally i would like to have a few hundred of three dollar memberships and this is this is really good um this is really good way to do it because losing uh one one hundred dollar a supporter is yeah it hits harder than losing one three dollar supporter so that's the goal and um uh like this is life and a lot of people are they have some financial troubles and changes in life and they um yeah they lower the tiers or cancel memberships and that's totally understandable and yeah having it this way is the best way so you know your life is not getting any easier as war goes on you need the greater funds to continue your work and support your family you are not talking taking this for luxury but for necessity um, that person also needs to ask the question how much of that goes back into the stream that goes unseen. Yeah, uh, that's a good question, Kenty. Um, that's a good question. Rick, you have no reason to feel ashamed. Yours is the strength of 10 because your heart is pure. You're right. You're right. Um, I'm glad if you could earn some more for yourself, Johanna said. Thank you, Johanna. None of your business, said Marcy Logan for Ukraine. Mm, also a good point. <laughs> Actually, I'm making it everyone's business, you know, showing it right here. Um, of course, you don't see what I earn on YouTube, but I am thinking of sharing that also. Fuck that. Like, uh, why not? Uh, become fully transparent. And those who don't like it, yeah, they can say they don't like it. I think the more you earn, the more you are also produce for Ukraine. And that is the thing that counts. You're right. You're right, Johanna. You know what? Like, I feel it. Like, when I started earning more money back when I was a full, like, when I still wasn't a full-time rolling roller, I, I became... First of all, I became generous finally in my life. Like it started uh, happening in 2022 when I finally started getting not decent money, just like money enough to start living somehow. It was like, you know what? <laughs> in Ukraine, it could be below $1,000. Uh, I, you know, I, I started becoming generous and giving gifts to people more easily before that it was something hard for me because i never got enough money to do that and stuff like that and you become happier and you can do more 
Uh, you can be more productive. You can really um, make ideas come to life when you don't have things, some basic things to worry about. When you don't worry of, um, you know, guys, before 2022, I struggled. For, since 2019, I could not afford a good food. Like from 2019 to mm, I think 2020, very 2022, the very full scale invasion, before I got the new job, I could not afford all the food I wanted. I was only buying cheap food and I I was not able to rent an apartment I wanted. I lived in a small, terrible apartment. I could not afford the clothes I wanted. I could not afford basically anything. And yeah, it's like I was not living, um, you know, even the basic things I could not afford. But it gives me more resource, having money to really not care about the basic stuff like food and shelter and clothes this is it is really making you much more productive that's what i discovered so very good point uh, rick how much more are you spending on gas now to get to locations to make videos and streams now well you're right uh, i think twice maybe even two maybe even three times more you're right kenty i actually spend on gas a lot more to move around kiev uh, sometimes like multiple times per day mm, yeah you have a right to earn a decent 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 living yeah guys by the way you know what i want to share a dream with you that i have um I never inherited any and yeah I never inherited anything like I I never had my own home like the home that I can tell my own I see a lot of my siblings that are lucky to get to inherit uh, a house or an apartment and they don't care about that I pay the rent now for the last five years every month that's that's okay for me if you earn enough to pay the rent and allow other stuff you don't don't care about that uh, but you i still think that having a home of my own someday um is a is a dream that i deserve to have and why the fuck should I not be allowed to do that? Unfortunately, I also wasn't able to make any decent savings that are going to be enough to have a home, to buy a home, at least an apartment, maybe like a one room apartment or something like that. But you know, um, I also am careful about that dream because owning a property it gives you um it gives you the risk to for that property being burned by russian missile being destroyed by by it so uh you know all of that is it's kind of maybe a pipe dream i thought before this year i think but you know this gives me like earning even earning what I earn already these days, it gives me an opportunity to save something, to save up um, and also donate a lot. So, of course, we can stop uh, on this and I can feel ashamed of earning more and yeah, a security cable, exactly. But you know, um, a lot of people <laughs> on this planet, they do complete shit and earning way much more. 
way more money for what they do. Um, they do some ugly stuff. They do some immoral stuff. They do some empty stuff. Stuff that I do has a meaning and a purpose. So fuck that. You know, fuck the shame. I just... I just don't. Don't. Yeah. I'm... You know, talking about it more really makes me realize more stuff about this. And realize it, like, understand it better. Thank you, Rollers, for listening to it. If you made more, you can do more. Even get a helper. And now you went fully legit, so have to pay taxes. I already pay taxes. By the way, guys, this is not 2000 and... $61 minus about 10% from buy me a coffee minus 5% that I pay to Ukrainian tax service minus once a month I pay 50 bucks so what is it so minus about okay let me count let me actually count So minus 10%, it's 1,854. Then minus 5% is 1,764. And minus 50 bucks. Guys, from this $2,061, I get 1,712. Maybe a bit more, because By Me Coffee says that they take... They say that they take 5%, but I mentioned, I noticed that there's there's more than that, like maybe 7%. So from 1,700 to 1,800, I don't even get 2,000 guys from buy me a coffee. So with taxes, I'm legal, I'm paying taxes. So in clean money, it's not that sum of money. So yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you guys, until I was 10 or 12 years old, like for my first 10 years, I lived in a, in a shitty apartment with the cracked walls where we had no water at all. And we had a yard in poops, in dog poops everywhere. Do you remember I was telling you the story how I played with dog poops? <laughs> that, that's it. That's my childhood. So Rick, thanks for your honesty and for sharing with us about yourself. Thank you. This is going to be a hard work and week for me. I'm going to work on the dub. I'm going to post some sneak peeks, but also some videos for you. I love you guys. We keep working, soldiering on together, not just me, all of us. And I thank you for this work. You are the best. I love you, my friends, and I'm honored to call you my friends, you know, to have such friends. Lucky, very lucky to have you as my friends, and we overcome anything. We will. It is time to say live long, prosper, and donate. And... Slava Ukraini, my friends. Heroem Slava. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like this video, leave any comment under it, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also check the previous part, and you can become a member on my Buy Me a Coffee to support my work here. Thank you, and live long and prosper.